Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Sazare, on how we can import an Illustrator file into Maya. So to illustrate this, I have a logo here in Illustrator that was created in the Designing a Logo in Illustrator uh, course. So what I'd like to do is to come in and save this file off so I can import it into Maya. So I'll go to File, Save As, and I don't want to overwrite my original. I'm going to come in and give this a new name, maybe something like uh, For Maya, and then hit Save. Now Maya only supports the Illustrator 8 version. So if we sec select this little drop down here, we can come down to our legacy formats and choose Illustrator 8. Okay, so I'll go ahead and choose that hit OK and we'll notice a little warning that's saying that because we're saving this as an older format uh, it may disable some of the editing features if we were to open this file back up in Illustrator but since we didn't overwrite our original file that's okay we can always go back and open up our original file if we ever need to make any changes so I'll go ahead and hit yes and let's open up Maya here and I'll go to uh, create Adobe Illustrator object now if we open up the option box here, reset the settings, uh, we'll have a couple different options. We can either import these as curves or we can tell Maya to go ahead and bevel this object. So I'll start by telling Maya to bevel this out. Go ahead and click on create and let's choose the file that we want to import. Click on open and we can see we're going to get this error down here in our script editor saying that Maya has failed to create the bevel output. Well, it's actually quite common to have some extra curves in Illustrator that Maya doesn't know how to bevel. So we could go back into Illustrator and clean up any of those extra curves, or what we could do is come to Create an Adobe Illustrator object, open up the option box, and let's try importing these as curves instead, since it was the bevel operation that was failing. So I'll go ahead and click on Create here and open up my Illustrator object. And we can see that now we have our uh, logo that's been imported here into Maya. We do notice that we have a few extra curves. So uh, these are probably what was causing the bevel operation to fail. So I can simply come in and select these extra curves here and either delete them or hit Control h to hide them. And now we can simply come in, select our object, and go to our Surfaces menu set. I'm just going to come in and do a quick Bevel Plus. Hit 5 to go into our Shaded View so we can kind of see how this is looking. And select the rest of our objects here. When we have an object that has a hole, we'll want to select the outside curve first. Shift select the inside curve. Come back in and do our Bevel Plus. Now a quick shortcut to repeat the last operation would be to hit the key G. So I'll just hit G and repeat the last operation, which was a bevel plus. And go ahead and select the rest of these curves here in order to create our logo. Um, now the way that this uh, particular logo was designed, it looks like when we perform our bevel operation, it's kind of getting some penetration uh, between geometry. So we can easily come in and uh, maybe scale this down just a little bit. Uh, we could go into Illustrator and adjust that, or we can do that here in Maya. It kind of depends on what our project requirements are. Uh, but as we can see, uh, we've gone ahead and imported our Illustrator curves into Maya that we can then uh, go ahead and create a bevel on or do whatever we may need to do within Maya.